Hey, 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 welcome to Amber Skies. My name's Blades, and yes, this is Eve Online. Let's have some midweek madness today. Let's just go out and blow stuff up. Yep, I'm in the mood for that. Ooh, gifts, thank you. Very kind. Oh, a needle jack, that's interesting. Let's go blow stuff up. Oh. Right, I need to retest the Punisher, so um, that's first, I guess. Let's go see what we can find. Mm. Oh, lovely coffee. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Redeemed Home Station, yes. Thank you all. What does this do? Shield boost. Turret optimal. Can we not just stop it? No, we can't. Never mind. I don't care. Um. Yeah. Standings. Local. Check. You. Check. Let's go. Let's test this Punisher out. Mm. See if it's any good for what we want to do. Probably isn't. Who cares? Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? Um, let's try here. Lovely. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Alright, just have a quick look at the asteroid belt. Anything or nothing? Hmm, nothing. That's fine. There's nothing here. That's not unusual. Alright, that's two. Okay. Let's go. Drive active. Let's go do something. <clears throat> something more interesting. And hello to my viewer. You're definitely welcome to watch. And thank you. It is appreciated. Yeah, that's you. I appreciate you. Okay, we still haven't got the other server working fully. So we are on manual gates. Hmm, nothing here. Oh, spawn. Bit late. Not to worry. Uh, reset that. That doesn't matter. So yeah, we're out in a Punisher. It's a Tech 1 Frigate Armour. And it's a little beaut. Just look at this little beaut. Look at it. Look at that. Gold trim. Alright. Let's go. Looks okay. Switch on the afterburner. Yes, we don't use an MWD on this machine. For very good reasons. It's a close, close up and personal ship, not a kiting type ship. If people kite you in when you're playing the ship, just walk away. Pointless. So let's get within target range of these little babies. Oh, that's an interesting ship. Let's give it a little bit of shooting. OK, 
Okay, has webbed me. No, I've webbed it. That's fine. Okay, we'll just uh, slide around this one. And accidentally blow it to pieces. Well, why not? Hello, Sethnacht. Sethnacht is here. I wonder why he's in. He's in stiletto. That's a good idea. It's a good idea not to be here. Stiletto versus a Punisher. I can understand that, yes. I guess I can. Hmm. He decided not to engage me. Okay. Fair enough. Minded. Giving a bit of the old uh, pew pew out to a stiletto. That's what this ship's made for, after all. Okay, where were we? Thank you for just hanging around. Oh, it's a Dominic's. Hello, Mr. Dominic's. How are you doing? There we go, he's wet. <coughs> right, that's it. Let's see. <coughs> Is a Punisher able to bring down a Dominic's? That's the question. I had no doubts about the uh, destroyers. How about a Dominix? This is equivalent to a level 4 mission. That's why I'm checking it. I think I'm lacking just a little bit of uh, gunpower. It's looking that way. Speed's okay. Range is okay. We're on multi frequencies, which is pretty high damage. I mean, we are doing 90 points of damage or so to these shields, but. Dominixes um, tend to be passive shield tanks, and this is a passive shield tank we're up against. So do I have the DPS to overcome the shield tank? And the further we get into the shield, the harder it gets. I haven't seen a shield boost at this point. Clear that as well, can I? Yeah. Okay. So it's a forty-four percent, 
Mm, I don't think it's going to hold though. Mm, maybe not. I mean, right. I think it's going to hold about 40%. I think we're 20% behind on the damage. Ooh. We'll give it a moment. See what happens. Will it outrun its cap? I mean, it is doing its damnedest to hit me. Thirty-three percent. So that's what fifteen. 16% required to break it. 15. Fourteen. I think we might be able to get away with just ten percent. So we're looking at a DPS of about 120. Hundred and twenty-two. Three. Hundred and twenty-three. Yeah. Absolutely. It's looking good though. But you can see how the damage done and the repair rate of the shields are getting to be roughly about equal. And it's not bleeding into our... oh it is bleeding into armour. Did it rep its armour? It did. Okay. will not be empty for long. Yes, I do know how to set up punishers. Thank God. So we just need two skills uh, to go plus one. At five percent each. And we've got level fours. That will make the ship go mastery three. It'll be my first Let's ship to Mastery Let's 3, maybe. Interesting. <laughs> I like the Punisher. It can certainly do things other ships can't. <clears throat> but you do have to remember this is not exactly the best ship in the game. It has a use, which is getting in under the guns of big ships and uh, hitting them with a web. That's its use. Web drive active. And that's what I use it for. I am debating whether to change that into um, a warp disruptor. Uh, to catch the MWD people. Docking permission requested. Shall we have a look? <coughs> we can have a look. Accepted. I'll have picked one up by now. Um, I have been out messing about. So, let's have a look at that. Just simulate the fit. What we're looking at is getting rid of that and putting on some kind of warp disruptor. We could do that. No, we can't. 
<laughs> I just realised it's a tech two, isn't it? There we go. So what does this thing do? Let's put it on the ship first. Let's make sure my skills are added in. Thank you. <laughs> There's your problem. I don't have optimal range on that. That only gets it to 9,000 metres. Eek. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's got a warp scramble strength of two, though. Oh. I don't like it. No. We'll go back to that. Okay. I will continue with Dark Pearl. I can't see why not. Let's chill out. Let's chill out in null sec. Why not? Oh, this is a nice ship. Look at it, it's just graceful. It's beautiful. Very heavy. Oh, let's go. Warp drive active. Serpentis Corporation has to see. Oh, who cares? Who cares about the Serpentis? I don't. They're just my test subjects. <laughs> That's a bad way of putting it, isn't it? All right. <clears throat> We're here. We're in. Null sack. Um. I'm not overly bothered about staying here. Hmm. We don't actually have anybody in here, do we? But I do have 3.4. Oh, wow. Three, three, nearly three and a half thousand isk. <laughs> Stored up by me. Let's go and have some fun. So we've got a little um, combat zone here. Let's see what it has available. We have gunnery. That's fine. What are these? Missile, heavy missile. Yeah, okay. Um, 
I'll choose medium range. Done little, my little prides and joys. They're happy down there. A Corelli guard appeared, as if by magic out of nowhere. Big explosion. Baboon. Hmm. Which one are you going for? None of these, right? Uh, I don't need you. Oh, just realised they're being attacked. behind me, what it's doing. Basically I'm just going to take out this missile battery and uh, see where we go from there. We can try again with these. That's looking a bit safer. These turrets taken out in a jiffy. Right, this is getting a bit close. That's no good to anybody, is it? Just take them out quite happily. Alright, so what's down here? We've got landing pads. Ooh, fuel storage. That looks fun. More fuel storage, yeah! Whilst we're refreshing our drones. Oops. I want to turn that way, please. Thank you. Right, so we've got some more targets coming in. Yeah, it looks okay. So 
So what are these silos all about? Better keep an eye on the, our little guys over here. Yeah, they are being attacked, so better get that sorted out. Silos are pretty uh, stiff. Uh, mediums, please. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're going to be improving this uh, ship's gunnery as well. It's not overly brilliant, but these silos are rather big, to say the least. Switch that afterburner off. It's not exactly needed. We're not in any danger here. I mean, it's an old sec. What do you expect? Danger? Wow, no way. I think I will use drones on the second one. They're doing quite well though, me drones. You have to admit. Guns, uh, hmm, possibly a little bit weak. Yeah, we'll have this chief sentinel, sentinel engaged properly. I think guns are actually doing some damage. Just nothing huge or impressive. It's not one of those hit and kill thingies. It's uh, a bit more of a, a nibble biter. Oh, what am I doing? No, not there. There. <coughs> Where are these guys? They're all out here, are they? Yeah. Uh, wasting my time shooting at that. A bit closer, I think. What have we got here, then? We have you, you, and you. There you are. You'll do. We'll uh, attack you. As this comes back into range. <coughs> range on these um, lasers, not fantastic, but I wasn't really looking for fantastic lasers. Really didn't bother me at the time. Okay, somebody's shooting, oh they're not. shooting at them. Probably is the guardian. Oh, 
it went. It baboomed. Whoa, there she blows. Wow. Look at that. <sighs> I love it. Alrighty, what do we got here? Um, Actually, I don't really want to be going that way either. I just realised. Yeah, about there all day. Look how zippy is that little zoomy. That's a better angle. <laughs> Lovely. The fuel in story silo ignites and explodes outwards in a violent fireball. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yay. Don't do it with drones then. Okay. I understand. Did we get any salvage from it? Possibly. Not overly bothered. Don't think we've got anything for salvaging, have I? Note to self, bring something for salvaging next time. <laughs> it's looking about the correct range, so I'll just leave that. <laughs> Not exactly worried. Okay. Yeah, that looks okay. attack drones. No. Maybe not. There we go. They'll follow the laser laser painter. That's very nice of them. Laser guided drones. Yep, folks, that's what we're doing here. I just find an easier way to uh, control the drones than having to right click all the time. Pretty simple method of doing things. Right, and um, now for the these battle cruisers. Yes, three battle cruisers. Fair enough. <laughs> Send them on the way. They're not in range of me guns, so. Pretty simple solution, just send in the drones. 
We know a song about that. No, don't do songs. We're not doing songs today. You're quite fine. Seems to be working. Hmm. Yep, he blew up. Very kind of him. This one is literally on the edge of my range. Yeah, I thought so. The limits of my gun range. Wow, look at that damage. Nasty. Nasty, nasty drones. Twenty-one damage from the guns, wow. Amazing. Ah, lovely. I think this settles into uh, just blowing stuff up for fun. Could just go stationary, I suppose. Now, nah, well, let me wasps come back. Poor little things. They're a bit slow. A bit like these, um, hmm. This Corelli guard. He's very slow. What, what kind of thing are they? Oh, he's elite. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. What resists? This guy is really good. Shame he's wanted. Well, that's why I'm here. Because these guys are wanted. I don't know who by, but the wanted. Somebody doesn't like them. <laughs> 61 kilometers. You can't get any closer. Really? Oh, okay. I want to send some attack drones out to meet him. I guess we'll just have to wait. Not too bad, really. It's uh, this. This looks like a nice place just to uh, cruise around and, uh, well, bloat the locals. And every time we bloat one of the locals, a little bit of money goes into the main bank here. That gets paid out in 16 minutes. 15 minutes. Which is fine. That means I get about 60% or 70% of it. Which is yay. Not very much. Unfortunately. Um, 
just two cruisers. They're going at 277, 267. I'm at 200. They should catch me up, theoretically. We'll see. <laughs> we'll point them in the direction of that uh, Coral Artist, Captain Sentry. Just mediums. Yeah, these have got a heck of a lot less resistances. A lot easier to uh, punch down. So I'm happy with that. A very strange combat, though. What's going on here? Why have I got the number one hanging around? Oh, they don't like me. Wonder why that is. I'm just wondering whether I should move this ship northwards. Could be interesting if I do. We could try, but that means, ah, I wouldn't have a ship here. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> Not until we buy another one anyway. Or make another one. Could always make one. I'll have to see about that tomorrow. Give industry something to do. I haven't even checked if they've already made one. Ah, that's a good point. Oops. Are we going to get another uh, pop? An upwell generator. What's an up? Oh, I see. Hmm. Interesting. An upwell generator. I am going to go towards these slightly because they're taking way too long to get to me. I mean, these ones are... <laughs> well, yeah. Might take all day. So these are battle cruisers. Hmm. Are that good, huh? Oh, thank you. dropping into the old wallet for no reason whatsoever. But it's just donations by these guys. They're very, ha they're very happy to donate. That I do like. Ah. 
Okay, they are coming into range. We'll have medium for battle cruisers. Okay, Bill and Ben in the older uh, Vespers. Go get him. And off they go. Fighting for glory. So that I don't need to. Dooby dooby dum dum. They're very good at it, aren't they? They certainly like munching on these coralatis. Mm. Or coralatis. Depending on how you pronounce it, of course. Are not bad at all. Who's next? You are. Hmm. Somebody's shooting at one of my Vespers. So we'll bring them back in. That's one of the funnier things about these combats. The um, AI has been modified and updated, so NPCs now will behave differently to uh, drones. Do we need to learn this, so... Let's have you. There we go, they can all close in on that guy now. Just watch this bottom Vespa. He's um, being targeted for some reason. <laughs> so we'll see if he gets targeted again. And we'll just keep an eye on him. He's 84% shield, so he's not doing too badly. Very strange. So I'm going to leave the drones a second. What are they going to do? Yep, they're fighting. Somebody's shooting at them. And it's you. That's got him in trouble. My drones didn't like that. And quite rightly so. I may as well target paint this guy so they can't miss. Not really much else for me to do, is there? They've got their own private war going on out there. I'll leave them to it. <laughs> now to do with me. <laughs> How lovely. Uh, 
Those are big numbers piling out of those drones. He's really suffering. It doesn't take them long to get through him. My god. Another bunch. Okay. We'll move into an attack position again. There are no uh, battleships. <laughs> What's the difference between Coral Artis and Corellium? Ah, Corellium are rubbish. Hmm, but they're elites. Okay. Gotcha. So I've got three elites and two normal. Okay. Sentry wreck here. Guess we'll have a look at it on our way past. Right, okay. Okay, nearly in position. Oh wow, he's shooting at me. These elites have range. Wow. Start turning. We are going to go with uh, multis, because of the uh, size of these opponents. And we are going to smash them to pieces. <laughs> yep, there's a couple of heavies in there, and one of them's already under attack. Okay. That's not good. He should survive. He did survive. Hmm. Oh, hello. P. 
pay out in 17 seconds. Look at all this money. <coughs> Not much in the reserve bank either. going to battle. It's about time. Good. He's healed up back to 79% shields, that's okay then. So this guy's angered then. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go get him. <laughs> Just flying a little bit more aggressive now. Seems to be working okay. Shields are happy. Squeaking at me. Who do you want next? Yeah, okay. Heal them. So to stop them targeting my drones, I'm going to attack them with guns. Simple, really. Okay. Start manoeuvring for the attack on the, s the next one after this. So we're now manoeuvring to be on this next one rather than just shooting this guy. Which won't take long now. He's desperately trying to survive. Bless him. Kilometer. That's better. That's my maximum effective range. Oh, now we've got something. Platoon leader. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 
loads of thingies. Oh, big boys, admirals. All right, let's go in. This time I'm taking the fight to them. We're not having any messing around. Not when we've got uh, <coughs> big things knocking around. You're going to have to die first. Sorry about that. But it's the truth. See? Actually doesn't matter. Do I want to go in close range on the battleships? Could do. Are they big and nasty? Not really. Let's set up to attack this one. And then set up to attack that last one. Oh, you're on two different things, you silly boys. Get on the same thing, please. Thank you. At this time of day, you don't really find much in local, unfortunately. Not really any PvP going on. It's irrelevant if it if they uh, dampen my senses or not. The drones carry on no matter what, and they are completely eating a battleship very nicely. in turns are they to dampen me? That's an interesting idea. And we're into with structure, so this battleship's going down. As the first one accidentally blows up, do we loot the battleships? Um, nah. All I'm doing is keeping it a nice defensive um, distance with good speed. Not brilliant, but it's enough um, to stop the battleship from just tearing me apart, basically. Just keeping out of his range. The poor guy can't even shoot at me. But 
but you can see how the orbit is being adjusted just to keep him nicely away at about 24 kilometers, which is a good place to be as that's like pinpoint accuracy for my guns and he can't shoot me so tactically he's a dead duck in reality he's a dead duck and they won't take long And that was it. He was the last one. So I shall try and loot. Let's see if um, any special drops happened. I got a ding ding. Probably means that I'm on Twitch or something. Am I broadcasting? Ah, oh, somebody else is, okay. And I am, yes, thank you. One hour and ten minutes to decide that I'm online. Hmm. Thank you, Twitch. So I'll just take a look, see if um, any special drops happened. If not, not really bothered. Thousand five hundred meters of the container. What container? Uh, check the other one anyway. Was he trying to tell me that my car goes full? No, it's not. No idea what it's doing. Good. Okay. Luckily, being a battle cruiser myself, um, I do get a little bit of straight line speed. Not a lot. Not a lot. Which is fine. Can we not have that in here? And why not? And waypoint, show on map, showing map browser, avoid, edit, and remove. Hmm. Interesting. He knelt around here. for ice okay we'll try that one instead I don't want to uh, get too close <laughs> this one's a bit more dangerous put it that way So 
so it all depends on the landing distance. Ooh, not bad. Alrighty, we'll have a go. Um, yeah. It's you that I need first as well, isn't it? How do I get him safely? Well, he is coming straight at me. And so is that core vice, Admiral. Just be careful with these lot. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. Whoa! Hold on, guys, that's not funny. Both battleships turned round and started shooting me drones. drone. Well, that was interesting. in the battleships, I'm interested in this chief infantry. He has to, uh, unfortunately, die first. See how this goes. Could go badly. But I doubt it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the cruiser first um, as fast as possible and then get ourselves straight onto um, the furthest away battleship. One that's hanging back a little bit. We can transfer onto him now. Good. There we go. Just keep those angles on the battleships. Alright, well, yesterday's video has now been uploaded to YouTube. Okay. Good. We are going to take out hopefully the furthest one or the closest one. Who have you chosen? You. Okay. Looks good. <laughs> I think I prefer taking on battleships than I do um, the cruisers. Cruisers can really hurt if you're uh, not careful. Battleships, on the other hand, you can 
push away from you a little bit. Just get them to miss. Basically, you're flying underneath the guns. <laughs> I think I prefer doing it this way. I think the attack version is better than just hanging around. I do have a close range mode as well, which I can use on battleships, but it's not really worth the extra damage I do. It only takes one lucky shot to make me uh, remember that I'm only a battle cruiser. So I prefer to be in a place where I can at least do something about where I am. This, this, this range gives me options. I can disengage or I can go in closer. stable. Wow. We're not even using our, our repairs. I'm just running this as a buff for regen on armor, but hardly needed. into this now. <laughs> Way. going to use the battleships to keep them at distance and in the meantime we'll just shoot this guardian send the hornets in if I'm right this yeah this is uh, elites yeah both elites I'm in position now. Who's firing at me, Hornets? Right, it is the Guardian. Okay. That's fair. So I'm circling the one that's yellow. Let's make sure we are. We're orbiting him. And we're going to kill the other one. Which is him. So there's the Maltese. There we go. I will do it as simple as that. We should now be in a prime position to kill both of them. 
we just keep that second one there at arm's length. Make sure he's not doing anything stupid like shooting me. I mean, they are trying to stop me targeting systems, but hey-ho, ain't gonna work. melting before our very eyes. almost too easy. Not quite sure, I understand. isn't it? Camera. Thank you. Well, at least the ESS main bank is now to 1.46 million. That's a bit better. Something's happening. Oh, this guy's being tricksy. He's got a repper. An armor repairer. He's not exactly putting up much of a fight, I must admit. A bit one-sided. up next. Okay. Again, taking out the main opponents whilst circling the battleships. Standard tactic. Right, I'm on the furthest battleship. Maybe. Not 
sure yet. They seem to be splitting apart a little bit. What I'm going to do then is that. And we'll steam in on that secondary one. He's getting too far away. He's going to shoot me. He is shooting me. I don't like that idea. So currently this guy here is our biggest threat. The other guy, he's behaving himself, he's missing. But this guy needs to learn a lesson. Don't shoot me. We'll continue the attack, but we do have... Hmm, doesn't sound too bad, that one. We'll leave him alone. If he takes an interest in us, then uh, we will uh, take evasive action. I'm not really wanting to shoot him, I don't think. I knew, it depends what he's in. This doesn't seem right. Something's wrong. Thought so. Thank you for the stream tonight, by the way. Very nice of you.
He'll be back. 1 0 to me. <coughs> right, just let me. Sh me uh, things do their stuff. Um, check. Check. Lovely. Active. Problem is, he will be back, probably in a different ship. That was slightly embarrassing for him. What a muppet. Fancy attacking a battlecruiser in a hound. Did he just warp off? Nah. Uh, he's here. He soon disappeared. The hunter becomes the hunted. <laughs> Bless him. Docking permission requested. Uh, Docking request accepted. Add contact. Member of Tredesium. An impressively bad idea that he's just had. Uh, contacts, please. I mean, people think they can get away with that. Well, I've got news for them. No, they can't. Who's this? Sugar, you can go in there. You can go in there. And you can go in there. Well done, that man. You've just registered the Sugar Alliance as enemies. Grazie. Not my fault. I certainly didn't ask him to attack me. Told you I smelt a rat. Um, 32. 50, 48. Yeah. It isn't, is it? It's 10. Sixty four times two, hundred and twenty six. Okay. Um, I think after that victory, I will celebrate by having a cup of coffee. Uh, please excuse me. We're going to take 
a three, four minute break, uh, because we have this stupid, no, well an eight minute break, because we've got a stupid timer thanks to that geezer.
Coffee and apple pie. That's the way to go. Three minutes on the timer. Oh well. Hmm. Auto targeting. Hmm. Usually. One hundred and sixty. That's better. As you run away, no, I was going to go and fight him in a T1 frigate. Yeah, oh well, <laughs> never mind. I do have to wait on the timer though. <clears throat> I don't like disadvantages in engagements. He gets the security penalty for attacking me. And if that timer doesn't run out, anybody can then attack me without taking a security penalty. I'm not having that. He was at 4.2. Hmm. <laughs> but he's not now. Alright, and I've got some moon goo cake. For later. Hmm. It's been in the fridge, so I've got to let it warm up so it goes a bit more gooey. Okay. Time is gone. I'm happy. Let's go and have a look at something. Lots over here. Now we're facing forwards. Helps. I thought as much. My cargo container is still here. <laughs> I left it here two hours ago. Well. Yeah, two hours ago. Literally. And it's still here. Thank you, I'll take that. Right. 
right, come on then. Let's have a fight. Dum be dum be dum dum ba da ba da dee Ya ba da dee Two Takes me two lots of missiles to shoot one Garista Supremacist Interesting What's this guy at the back doing here? Well This guy's dying That's obvious I think we'll leave him to it. We'll go after this guy. No idea why he's, this guy's so scared. Which is a bit hot. Ow. <clears throat> yeah, hey. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. When playing this game, you should have the right tools for the job. And Infernos again, was it? Yeah. That one. So that is f 32. That's how many we used. Yeah, you'll do. It always surprises me how unprepared people are in this game. Okay. There we go. Warp drive active. And I do have a funny story to tell, but I'll do that later. Because I actually lost one of my retrievers last... Well, yeah, last night. Well, this morning, last night, should I say. <laughs> to a gang of five catalysts. And they made the mistake of podding me. So they got the full minus two security status. Being idiots. Just a little bit trigger happy and I thought it would be so I let them. That'll cost them over a hundred million to replace all the ships and security statuses. <laughs> Oh god, was it worth it for a couple of score die? Really? Was it? I don't know. I think they were harder. I did bait them a little bit. So three out of the five got killed. Concorded. And they 
they potted me so they lost a huge chunk of security status. Oh well. <clears throat> and then promptly disappeared. I think they ran away. They might have been scared of my industrialist character who doesn't care, just makes another ship. <laughs> well, luckily. Carried on with in a the other secondary retriever, so not a problem to me. Not a problem at all. So we'll just salvage this lot. These are worth something, so I'll salvage them. If it had just been a bunch of frigates, I wouldn't have bothered. But a bunch of destroyers? Mmm, yum yum. I want salvage, please. got to be aware of what time is happening up in the top left hand corner you could get yourself into big trouble if you're not careful very easily so you do have to be aware of that It's not a problem as long as you know what to do. The yellow timers that you get for NPC battles, that's fine. It's not very helpful, but it's fine. Right, so anything else I want whilst I'm here? Yeah, I can pick up some rocks, can't I? Why not? I just go where the game takes me. Each day is an adventure for me. I never know what's going to happen. I think that's brilliant. I'll take you. Whoops. Stop shit. My bad. Push me button too fast. Can we have the salvage first? Luckily, my little venture's uh, a bit a tad fast. So, it's quite happy. So was he in a stealthing hound, or are people cheating somehow? Hounds don't stealth, so he must have... No, he couldn't. That would have been impossible. There would have had to be a second ship there, and there wasn't. Hmm. Highly dodgy. 
But doesn't bother me. I don't really care. It's a low sec mining. Well, it's empty. Place is empty. Take advantage of it. Nobody's going to bother me. I know that for certain. Standings keep decreasing. What a shame. How do you switch that notification off about standings, I wonder? Blah, 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 blah. Dunno. If anybody knows how to switch these off. Ah. Turn off pop-up. Turn off history. Thank you. Really don't need it. Yay, it's all gone. Oh, thank God for that. So that's nice. Didn't know I could do that. <laughs> okay, that's them staggered. <laughs> so, two hours into the adventure. Um... We've made a few mil. Um, we've got some salvage. Some bits and bobs. And now we've got some... Noxium. Woo! Go me. I think that's awesome. <laughs> so I do quite a lot in this game. I um, do mining, industry, I do everything really. Everything except for planetary interaction, which I'm going to leave till after Christmas. Because that's a bit of a huge investment. And I think I prefer to uh, plow my iskies at the moment into generating more ships. Luckily my ships are getting better. At long last. We're getting to the skill level now where it's starting to work. I'm starting to think about getting mastery at level 3s in ships and then trying to go beyond that and seeing how that affects the handling of the ship and uh, its fighting capabilities. I'm really interested now in doing that. I'm also learning all of the frigates. So 
we have all the Frigate Fives here now to do. And that should really take me up to Christmas, I think. Well, pretty much so. But we're at 8, eight million. 8 mil skill points, a couple more mil, and some level 5s. Yeah, I think we're going to be there. And now we get a break. A nice, relaxing, very worth doing break. <laughs> this is going to be a heck of a lot of Noxium. You might have also noticed that my um, trading ship isn't here. That's because this morning I delivered a load of rocks to uh, HQ. Which is why I don't have that many rocks in stock here at the moment. But low sec mining, <coughs> it's one of those things that you should take advantage of whenever you get the chance. Mm. Damn, that coffee's good. I'll have my moon goo chocolate cake with chocolate chips in. Mm. Is this going to be a luxury item? I don't know. Was there anything expensive in that lot? Nope. Doesn't matter. I'll just convert it into minerals. Minerals and... Uh, rigs. That's what my cargo hold will convert into. Very happy. Still getting payments dropping in. Nice. And there's uh, nothing on local. Great. Stream quality is good. Well, it says excellent. <laughs> Seven twenty. We could go gas hunting. Six 
seven sites. You know what I don't have here? I don't have a prospect. Oh well. I'd have to change character to go gas hunting really. And I certainly don't want my other character out here in uh, low sec. That's for certain. And I am now very hot. Uh, it's above 30 degrees C in here. And I'm starting to melt. That reminds me, I haven't heard from Amber Skies about that computer. It's been a week. I think I should uh, inquire. Seeing as there's any parts I've been struggling with which I don't need. Like fans, that kind of thing. I don't think I've ever really run my computer above 3.2 gigahertz. I've never needed to. I mean, this game runs at 140 frames per second without speeding up the processor. So, yeah. I don't think you need more than that, do you? I can push it to 160, as there are fans on the graphics card. But it runs at 66 degrees C, so I'm happy. I think that's a good area for a graphics card. Really, I prefer it at about 50, 49.50, for best performance. But for a... Uh, an aging graphics card, I think 66 degrees C is about right. It runs the windows at about 46 degrees C, so... It's fine. If you're wondering, I am waiting for something to happen. And I know what it is, I just want to know if it's going to happen. Might do. We've got to a thousand head begite, and we haven't had the pop. Hmm. I think I have to be here to get it. But 
but I'm not certain about that. The pop can happen at restart by itself or usually when I'm on when, when I'm mining a rock. It's well worth having. There's a couple of pops on this this one. That you can get. It's because it's a point one system. Uh, if I was next door, probably be better. But uh, the rocks are worse, so. So if you don't know, um, Nullsec has a different mining table uh, from high sec and a low sec which are grouped together well no they're not low sec has its own mining rock table so when you get to point one which is the bottom of low sec you are in the best system for low sec and you can get virtually all materials except one or maybe two uh, which you have to go to lo low sec for, and you have to go to minus five to get those. Well, next door is zero zero, so it's at the top of low sec, which is pyroxias. Sorry, at the top of null sec table, which is pyroxias. And I don't need those. Unfortunately. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Chocolate cake. Sorry. Moon goo cake. It'll start melting soon, so... It will be goo if I leave it alone. <clears throat> this is experimental. Not tried this one before. Any good. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, it's definitely chocolatey. With a chocolate topping and extra chocolate chips. Mm, mm, mm. In fact, this moon goo is a melting pot of triple chocolate deliciousness. And this is why I play Eve. <coughs> because I'm allowed to sit here, mining a rock, minding my own business, eating moon goo. Mm -mm. Life really doesn't get much better than this. I just heard a noise in the other room. I just hoping the cat hasn't fallen off the bed again. Every now and again in this house we just get a thud. And yeah, it's the cat falling off something like a windowsill or chair. Or in this case a bed. Drive active. 
I'm running out of space. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. This is going to be a good afternoon. I can tell already. Self drive active. I know when I'm going to have a good day, it's usually a Wednesday. Because on a Wednesday I have to do my repeat medication for the next week. And it does mean that it's happy, happy, joy, joy, fluffy, cloud, la la land. Oh, it's Aunt Tom. Alright, Tom, what are you in today, a vexer? Come on. Show yourself, you're in a vexer, aren't you? Don't tell me you're logged on here. Looks like it. Probably in station then. She's gone again. Logged in, logged off. Oh well. Nice to meet you. Thank you for saying hi. Local, uh, sorry, uh, low sec and null sec are not dangerous. Uh, that's a myth. If you take reasonable precautions to stay alive, you will do. It's funny because it teaches you the precautions you need to stay alive in a high sec. been eaten. And I'm just sat here getting rich. No, 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 no. I don't care about the iskies. You could do, I suppose.
So, anybody's got any any requests of where to take the adventure next? We are in adventure after all. And no, I'm not going to low sec with adventure. Sorry, null sec. No point whatsoever. The rocks I need are right here. The gas, I think, is next door in Villassen. But I haven't seen any of this gas. I've been told about it, but I've never seen it. And I find Villassen a little crowded for me. Here's Freeman. Oh, he's just logged in. Yep, he's just logged in. So he's in station. Not in a hurry to come out to the station. So yeah, if you're mining and you can't find Noxium, it's here by the way. Is he going to come out of that station or what? He knows that I'm not a threat, uh, a threat, so... Hmm. I wonder what's in Lenacamo. We could go and have a look. Could be nosy. I like Russians, but this one is a bit unpredictable. I find it very hard to decide what they're going to do. They think differently. <laughs> Which is fine. And it is very much welcomed. But... Got no idea what Freeman is going to do. Oh, well. what's the worst that could happen? Might lose 1.2 million is with a ship. Yeah, that's the worst that can happen. I don't think I'm bothered. To be quite honest with you, 
If he wants to blow me up, he's free to do so. I find it all depends on what kind of mood a Russian is in. But they can be very good pilots. Especially ones that have been playing for a long time. They are usually very good pilots. I am more interested in finding out what ship he's using. Because I know he had one. And he came back in a shuttle. Not undocking. Ah, oh, damn. Three. Two gorillas and an anarchist. Is that the best they could do? Asked. Ah, I'm not interested. So Mr. Freeman is still in a station. Docking request accepted. Here he is. Okay. We've tested you. Mm-hmm. go and collect our money. No, I'm really bothered about it. <laughs> right through the station. I love this jump. Good old warp space. I love it when it protects you. I'll leave him to sit quietly in the station having a nap. Okay. Where was I up to? That one. Self drive active. Okay. Let's get on with the game. 
little break. I just love the cloud ring, especially from inside it here, because it looks so nice. Hello! I remember this guy. He was here before, wasn't he? Send in the drones. That's one of the things I like about these combat sites. If you leave one for half an hour, it doesn't go anywhere. I just wanted to make sure our pet hound wasn't going to uh, come back. switched on. Well, this is uh, being eaten alive very nicely. Maybe uh, my drones were out of breath before and uh, weren't, really weren't uh, that hungry. But they're obviously hungry now. Straight into this battleship. Next payout, one hour and five minutes. Hmm. Let's fill the bank up a little. I have no idea how many waves we've been through now. Oh well. Not enough is the answer. First time. Oh no! Oh no! Look! I'm being warp disrupted. Whatever do I do? I'm webbified. Let me just shoot him. I can't shoot him. I'm useless. Um, where's the third one? There. There we go. A Lord Admiral. Oh my God. It's a lord. He can hit me. I think we'll let him. <laughs> He's 
is doing a little bit of damage. Which I'm not over keen on. Good, we just got under his guns now at 21. Twenty-two he misses. Twenty-three. He hits. Okay. I'm not having this guy shoot me all the time. That's just way too dangerous. So I'll just change to multi-frequency and go in there and give him a good smacking. He's still getting grazes on me, which is okay. I don't mind that. That's not dangerous. Just get under his guns properly. Glances off at 117. Grazes at 89. I can take that. Tank that. Plus, I do more damage in return. Still got a lucky hit on, on me, little creep. Look at the size on this ship, though. That's 11 kilometers away. This thing is bigger than our town centre. My god. These other two are doing. I think it's fine. Where are they? They are still next to each other. He's getting ready to blow. My god, he keeps repping at the last moment. Wow. Get this guy sorted out. Unfortunately, being battleships at this range, uh, they can hit me. I 
Okay, they're starting to have difficulties now. That's better. I'm certainly not catching him up in a hurry, thank god. Wow. 531 damage on me. Ouch. Shoot. Oh no. Don't shoot. Shoot. That's better. I can hit him now. Get his shields down. Let's get into his armour. Give him some punishment. That's what I like to see. Okay there. I think I'm doing thermal as well. Ah, I'm only doing a, hot, uh, a third th thermal. Two thirds EM, that's why. Fair enough. <laughs> and he's rapping. Great. So we can turn up the heat a little bit by uh, putting a laser on him. Might be able to blind him. Shine it in his eyes. That's what we need to do. Well, he's holding up very well. like an eagle's head, does it? It is an eagle's head. I just realised. This is a golden eagle, isn't it? Oh, wow. Just never seen it lit from this side here with the eye. And this slightly open beak at the end. Wow. <clears throat> you see? Playing this game all these years and I've never even seen that. Never seen it like this. God, these graphics have improved. Yeah, they keep hitting me on the nose right there. Right there. That's my beak. Luckily the uh, shield will take half the damage, so... <laughs> right, we're starting to get through shields now. I 
These are big battleships, though. I'm just wondering whether to put out another heavy. Oh my god, I'm on the wrong things, that's why. I'm on anti-frigate drones. <laughs> dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Blades power. And that bright, I put the wrong drones on it. Oh well. Now but let's watch its armour go down. <laughs> God, what a difference. What a difference. <coughs> <coughs> well, that is beautiful. That is a golden eagle uh, with the eye there. And, of course, the beak coming down here. So fantastic. What a glorious ship. Yeah. I think we solved the problem of not doing enough damage. He's off. I don't... It's, it's Bill. Bill. Look at him. He's a little wasp. <laughs> Shall we send the rest in? Yeah, go on then. Go boys, go get him. I doubt he'll be able to hit me for too much longer since I get under 40 kilometers. He'll get some lucky shots in like that. That's about all. I should buy another one of these. Or should I make one? Hmm. I'll have a look tomorrow. <coughs> Before we do the Garis today. At least the guns do a little bit of damage now. <laughs> Before they did less than the medium drone. Mind you, I didn't have any gunnery skills, so that could probably be it. Ah, 
that's a good place to be. Excellent. Oh, straight through his armour. And now eating our way through his structure. And then it falls to pieces, of course. Shooting me at 114 kilometers. Really? <laughs> Which part of I don't think so makes sense? <clears throat> we'll have to use different tactics on this lot. There may be too many of them. That's a very nice nebula. Ooh, a creator. Oh, wow. Loot, please. Call Lord Admiral Wreck. Nothing on it. Arr. Grand Admiral. Is it core? Yeah. Nothing on it. Okay. Let's go to that nebula. Alright. Back to combat. Let's have a look what's going on. Alrighty. We've got to get rid of the... Him, yeah. These guys. So, that's mediums. Make it so. Yes, Herr Capitan. I'm going to shoot at you. And you are going to shoot at my Vespers. You skunks, get off them. <sighs> this is only going to make me angry. They shot him at the very last minute. That was horrible. Well, 
let's start shooting these guys because I've had enough of them. You're next. Or maybe not, depending on who you want. Yep, you're next. Good. I am taking these a little closer, but I don't care. You're the one. Thank you. Who do you want next? Do you? Right, okay. We'll show him then. Shooting the wrong one, never mind. He'll be dead in a second. This is an interesting battle. It's not obvious what I'm doing, but... Basically, I am going straight in a straight line now, aren't I? I want that one there. Thank you. I have to t keep turning. Otherwise, I will get shot. Badly. This is another one of these core Lord Admirals, isn't it? Yeah, got the right guys on the job this time. That's a lot of damage. normal buffs on, so these are standard buffs now, rather than just half, as we are battling four battleships, might be wise, two core Lord Admirals which are trying to rip me to pieces, but hey ho, that's the story of Eve, let's see if we can beat them. Like one of them to go down, please. Okay, we'll switch our repairer on them. Why not? Repairs are back under control. I'll keep the buff running though. Because we are just over half. Yeah, we should be alright. Reload those.
it takes forever for these to reload. I prefer to do it now before we get into trouble. I don't think we're going to get into trouble. I think it's just going to hover around this 60% mark. He's now down below 50%. So we're winning now against this guy anyway. What bothers me is how far away are these guys? And why? What I'm thinking of doing is just leaving my drones on this guy, but... Mm, with those repairs I don't really want to. The, X, the uh, normal buffs. Switch those off. To look at that. That was a core cool Lord Admiral. I'm not po passing up an opportunity like that even if they are shooting at me. I don't care. Just have a quick um, pause in the battle. Don't mind me. Just going to do a bit of looting. I don't know what the hell it is, but it looks okay. A polarized structural regenerator. have one of those. That sounds good. Saves on the bills. And in we go. On a slightly easier battleship. Warm the guns up. And get shooting. What time we on? Oh, good, got an hour or so. I mean, we've got 34 minutes to the payout, and the payout's starting to look good. So I think it's worth uh, spending 34 minutes ac accidentally shooting up uh, battleships. Yeah! <laughs> and I hope everybody's having as good a day as me. Because this, today, has been brilliant. We've had... Uh, Nice easy time of shooting the local Serpentis to pieces. Which is what I'm doing now. Uh, we've managed to get some rocks. Some low sec mining. And even won a round of PvP. So... 
very good day. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm uh, going to use any iskies I get. I'm just going to start placing that into the corporation for some blueprints, I think. I think it's, start, it's time to start saving up for blueprints. So I think I'm going to start supporting industry. This is an unfair matchup. This poor core, gr core Grand Admiral really doesn't stick a chance. I don't care what he's driving. I am actually improving the gunnery skills on this ship, funnily enough. Yep, medium energy turrets. Training, level 3. I thought it was about time. Let's shoot the guns anyway, because it's funny. just chomp through his armour. He's going to try and uh, rep it. Definitely getting some repairs in, but nah. This is overwhelming damage. Just pouring out. Sometimes you don't need high damage to win. You just need lots of it. Some pretty big numbers going in there. It's 358. Wow. Yeah, this is level 2 gunnery skill that I'm using. Out of 5. Hmm. I think we win. Will he give us a drop? He will. And a nice explosion. Whoa. Doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Some more core Grand Admiral shooting at me. Yep. 
platinum. That'll do me. Thank you very much for your tax. Time to kill ourselves a Guardian Chief Defender. He's not exactly uh, rushing in, is he? Um, right. Let's go. 45 degrees, isn't it? About there. I'll do it. Come on, you. 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 Okay. shooting though. Wow, 4.7 mil just dropped. Right, I'm on him. Let's take it. I'm having him. Evasive maneuvers! I need to get rid of these before we start taking massive damage from... Uh, oh god, here we go. Get out of there quick, you guys. Come on, waspies. Run. Come on, little ones. Yeah, you can do it. Well done. Shield damage only. Just regaining aggro. That's better. That's a lot better. Let's try this again, shall we? It was a nice try for the fleet to destroy me, uh, heavy drone there. Action. Don't want to get too hit. Well, too many hits from these battleships. They're all trying to pile in. I think what we'll do is we'll try and get rid of this one that can't hit me. Uh, or we can go straight after this core Grand Admiral. Probably a better idea. Okay. 
this is the one that's going to do me the most damage. So I want to get me uh, drones in early. And then just cruise in there. And start warming the guns up. See, I'm now dragging them all behind me. And that's the important part. Okay, I should start hitting him now. Well, my arm is holding nicely today. That's a huge bonus. Right, he's in uh, range now. Guns become effective. Our next objective is to get rid of this uh, Chief Sentinel. He has to go down next. Excellent. That's worked out rather well, that. Basically evaded one, two, three, four, and hit the nasty one. He'll be just going down as we've nearly made the turn to get into the Sentinel. for them now. Okay, guns are warmed up. Let's have him. Our primary target is the one at the back. So you, I will do that too. You're our first target. And then we just go with whoever the drones want to go with. It'll be the closest, so one of these two, that one, okay. So this one here is now diving in on me, which is a valid tactic, but it's not going to work for him. How does 22 kilometers... Ah, yes, it's on that guy there. Right. That's fine. Hurt a little bit, but uh, not much. There we go, we've got them all grouped up nicely now. Okay, 
you swap into close range. Big chunks of damage. difference changing to close range. Armor's basically holding, just a little damage, so we're holding at about 90%, 85 to 90%. It's good enough for me. So what we're doing is we're defending ourselves versus this one and shooting that one. So that one, 22 kilometers, keep it there. This one, do what it likes, we'll shoot you. If it gets close to me, poof, it really doesn't want to get close to me. It's a big no-no. These being battleships, I do have the option to go closer. I'm not taking that option because it's not safe. If you get a point blank hit by one of these and it penetrates your shields, mm, it's a world of hurt. I don't mind these grazes at 118. But a critical hit from one of these can do nearly 5,000 damage. Yeah. I think I'll stay out here. One of these battleships can literally erase me. Sorted. Very nice. We've won, we've won that, that round. Is there another round? This is the question. I don't mind if there is. Still 13 minutes to the payout from me bonus. So I'm happy to be here for another round if need be. probably be able to buy another prophecy after this nah I don't think I need that much to be able to make one, so uh, it's not really worth buying one. They come in at about 49 mil, I think. It's 
It's only a cheap ship, really, in the grand scheme of things these days. I mean, ships nowadays, um, especially the one I'm firing at, costs about half half a billion. Just for the hull. Oh, we do have some more. Okay. So, the furthest away... Rotate. Closest is our target. Then we've got a secondary. And then we've got the last one. So we're hitting the closest and dodging the furthest away. Luckily in these, uh, cause, because this isn't a battleship, um, these are having a lot of trouble hitting me. As you can see, I'm getting misses you completely messages. And that's what I'm relying on. I'm relying on the fact that they have not really much of a chance of hitting me. And that's basically how the tactics work, which is cruiser versus battleship. Straightforward tactics. We do have a bit of shields. Wow, we've got 4% shields back. Fine. Ooh, no, just got hit again. Never mind. That's looking okay. I always wonder on these ships, should I do anything about the shields? And I never do. It only has 3,450 shields. Hmm. Well, they've gone after the right one. I'm not sure if that one's moving towards me or away. Away. Stop firing. Wasting me time. He's running away. His shields are down and I should be hitting the back end of it. No, it's random all over from the drones, isn't it? Small explosions going on all over the place. Yeah, they're doing quite a bit of damage in this area. Look at all of these guns!
Those are artillery guns, aren't they? No, the rails. That's a rail gun. That's why they're fast firing. Yeah, that's rail guns. Dual? Dual heavy rail guns, okay. That's a lot of damage. If they hit. Let's just finish him off. Nice. Ooh, nice one. No drop. What about you? Oh! Another six and a half million. <laughs> okay. And five minutes to go for the payout. You don't get all of the main bank. You only get a percentage of it. Um, as I'm not sharing this with anybody, there's nobody else here in the system, I get um, two thirds, I believe. Or 70%, I'm not sure which. The rest of the money goes into the reserve bank. Which you need a key to open if you wish to get the money out of it. I don't have a scan or probe launcher on this ship, so I can't find any keys, as it were. But you need two people to do that. You have to, um... Is it, like, disarm the locks, I think it is in this game? Uh, open the locks, um... Both at the same time. There'll be two locks that you have to do at the same time. And, uh, yeah. That's fun. Just sat there following. Yeah, you are firing. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it's moving inwards now. Speed it up again. Good. Nothing. leave the site, it disappears. There's... Ah, that's the one I want, isn't it? So it comes up as a celestial beacon. Ah... Okay. Anything else out here? Hmm. Not really. Two minutes to wait, so...
Warp drive active. Let's go. One minute forty-five. I'll probably get another ten mil out of that. I think. We'll see. What a fantastic picture. Right, so we'll just wait a minute. We'll get paid. And whoever owns this portion of space, whoever has sovereignty here. Triumvirate. Uh, the money will go into their reserve bank. Some portion of that will go into there. So it should go up by about four mil. So six four seven I think. Let's find out. Oh yes, and you can rob these banks by the way. Before they pay out. Bing. Oh, I got 14.2. I got all of it. Huh? Not sure how that works. Hmm. Um, one, three, four, two, three, two, five, eight. That's one, three, four, two, three, two, five, eight. Reason excess is. I don't need it. There you go. That's basically how I work. I just give it to the corporation, I don't need it. You'll do. Bing! Let's go. Warp drive active. No time is good. That went very well. We actually earned extra isk, more than we needed. It's like having a free payday. Now, what can we do with all of that? Not much. I think I'm going to leave all the ships here. And, uh, we'll see how things are going in the low sec. I think that's a good idea. A mining person. Okay. I'll leave them alone. Uh, 
so I'm just gonna flick through low sec. It's like turning the pages of a book. Docking permission requested. And I need a Vespa. Docking request accepted. So I'll sort that out first, I think. We did manage to pick up some really nice juicy bits and pieces there, which I'm very happy about. That's a big bonus. Eighteen. We used eighteen. We got uh, plat two platinums. Really? Yes, we did. Wow! And a Prieta. And that thing. anybody. I wanted a Vespa. Ah, uh, just one, please. And that Vespa goes into medium. Bink. There we go. So we got a spare heavy. Full attack, full medium. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. <laughs> so that ship is now restocked. Didn't cost me much to do, did it? Um, you'll do. Let's go. Drive active. So all I'm going to do is look at local a little. Our mining buddy here isn't doing anything at the moment. He's, he doesn't seem to be mining anyway. He's way too busy. Nobody around, okay. Warp drive active. Uh, a couple of dodgy people in here, but I can't see any any problems. No, nope, no problems here. What about the next system? Crossed over on the gate there. Nobody here. No problems in this system. This is looking better than normal. Nobody in the next system. Oh, there it is. Warp drive active. Just one now. Two travelers. Ah, uh, multiple gates. Don't know what those two guys are up to. Possible mining. Lots of people in here. We've got an Aries already.
Ibis coming our way. There it is, going through the gate. Traveller. Aries, what are you doing? You're not scanning. Are you on the Marto gate? Probably. Shuttle? Yeah, another shuttle for you. I'm in a shuttle. An Aries. Ah, yes, you are probing. Okay, that's fine. As long as I know that that's what you're doing. Not a problem. Good luck. Okay. Our adventure in low sec was has been completed. It's been rather good. Our adventure in low sec isn't really completed. Because now comes the biggie. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. One biggie. To show you how big it is. Yeah. I've just flown here in that. Yes, this is a big ship. It's a Terra. And this is how it handles. You're gonna laugh. Let's go into warp. Warp drive active. One day. Maybe. We will warp. Possibly. Today. Or maybe tomorrow. Oh, good. Right, we're off. Yeah. Welcome to the trader's dream. I love trading. This is my dream. Has stopped scanning. Warp drive active. Nobody's coming out of stealth. Just a uh, Minmitar shuttle. The pastors. Nothing at the gate. Warp drive active. is doing but there's nothing at the gate they're probably having a real whale of a time there good on them tracking down data sites and cracking open safes 
that kind of thing. Nobody here. Well, somebody's just come through the Kejari Gate. We might pass in warp. Or just did. There you go. He's in a gnosis. He's happy. That's a rubbish battle cruiser. And there's nobody on the gate. So we just crossed over in warp. I'm happy with that result. I doubt he's going to be on my tail. He's heading out to high sec. Tony 42. Okay. He's not in the middle. And he's not on the gate, I don't think think but there is somebody else there. Two players. That's one too many. Tony 42 stayed. Okay. Which is fine by me. Being forced. Active. Didn't like that. Is there anybody coming in behind me? No. through the gate, so that was that guy coming in behind me. He's going to be too late. Thank you. That's bot that just came in behind me. I wonder how much of a bot they are. I didn't see what ship, did I? They should be faster than me in warp, if they're coming here. Pop, I've gone through the gate. Bot didn't follow me. And I think we'll clear that crap off my screen, thank you. Should have put bot on a big minus or just report them for being a bot. They went through a different gate. Okay. Nobody on the gate.
Warp drive active. Uh, bot is back. He didn't find me. Hmm. Well, you've got two gates to choose from now, bot. But there's a problem. I'm not there. Warp drive active. Freeman's here. He's passive. Azata Hita. No idea. Um, we'll put him red. That's a pirate corporation. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay. And that's how you get a big ship with no guns. Oh, very funny. Thank you. Back into low sack. Very few precautions needed. All you've got to do is mentally follow what the heck's going on around you. Awareness of your surroundings keeps you alive. So, having said that, Don't need anything from there. Don't need anything from there. Ah, yes, you. Is that all I've received? I thought there was more of them. Hmm. Not worth that. Okay, the pirate's gone. He's he's an old sacker. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm in between what to do. In between, we've got a, an hour to adventure around, so can't see why not. But that's how you read your scanners. Um, watch people from be that behind you are more dangerous usually than the people in front. Uh, Freeman's nice, and he doesn't speak. So there's that, I suppose. Now, this is a combat vessel, very capable in PvP, one of the best ships in the game, no doubt about it. How you play the ship is up to you. Um, I'm still learning a little bit up with it, and trying to learn different tactics and things. I think we should at least switch the engine on. I'll switch over, I think. Notice myself making mistakes with that thermal. It's a wonderful little machine. And if you want to learn PvP, it's excellent. I think I've blown about four or five up so far. 
I've not exactly been careful with them. I've been throwing myself around a little bit in the PvP and finding out what happens. You know, shaking the tree, see what falls out. Usually it's parts of my uh, um, spaceship, unfortunately. But I have had fun doing it. And I will continue to have fun doing it. What you do not do is press that button there. Press the one next to it. Lesson number one. Find out what's at the gate before going through it. Oh, yeah, you can always scan ahead. There's nothing here. I know there's nothing at the gate. Look, there's nothing in the system. Right, when you jump... You hold cloak. Unless you're in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, you get the hell out of here. Nobody that's offensive to me is in this system, so I'll just ignore it. And that's the beauty of this shit. You can just ignore them. They're probably more afraid of me being in here than I are, am of them being in here. Especially those people who are mining don't realise that I don't attack miners. Ever. Jump. Never do that, by the way. It's just that I knew what was going to happen. Oh, we've got a Zatahita. He's came this way. Now, I think he's gone to the Vilassan Gate. Nah, he's gone to this. No, he... Whoa, what's this here? Oh, he's in that. Do we go after him? He just stealthed. And quickly got through. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? Sorry, guys. Don't care about you. Switch that off, and you will go into warp faster. So he ran. Don't mind that. Here he is. I wonder what ship he's coming back in. Shall we find out? All I'll have to do is wait here. Shuttle? Nah. That's our little panda. Come on, Azati. What are you up to? Out and out. You come back in a combat ship. Don't have a go. I'm interested. Nope, he's gone. Stupid name to have that. Never start your name with the letter A. If you get on the wrong side of people, you're always at the top of the list with a big red mark on you. You become very visible. Change your name. Call yourself Zat Atti or something. Put a Z in there. 
Right, who's on the other side of the gate, folks? Now I've got my shields back. So what is this panda guy doing? He's going. Good. Interesting. Panda guy's uh, a bit slow in for a shuttle. Oh, Helios. Oh, damn it. Please, 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 please follow. He wants to play. Helios wants to fly. I didn't get his name, damn it. Non combatants. State. He's on our team. We'll give him a blue. In other words, I won't shoot him. An ibis. Those two numbers are wrong. Drive active. There's a hundred. No, there's about thirty. Thirty difference. Fight. Looks like he does. Your security status has been found. Yeah, whatever. Whoa. Wow, is that what happens on gates? It shoots you every time. No miss. Bob drive active. Hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Gate guns, of course. Why didn't I think of that, huh? Stargate denies you permission to jump at the moment. Really? Bob drive active. Well, I've now learnt what happens at gates. I th I'm sure he was flashing. So I don't understand. Never mind. Look, I've got a pretty pod. Isn't that nice? If 
that's what I thought he had, a suspect timer. So how much do you lose? Point one. Seriously? Oh, that's because he had no security level. Ha 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 ha
this is <clears throat> Caldari Navy Osprey. It's the bigger version of the Castron. Let's see if it gets automatically ganked on the way out by the guns. It doesn't cost me anything to get them. It's just loyalty points. He's in the Heron. Good for him. So I've now got that flashing symbol on me for seven minutes and God knows what. Not that I'm bothered. What's my range? Anything else I need to know? Ah, 59 goes to 49. Okay, that's that done. We do have a web for close range. We have Newtonos. We have a cap. Which is still going down. Oh, because the NOS is not on. Hold on a minute. I don't have you on. Ah. What else don't I have on here? The web. I need more skill in this ship. If I put you active... No. You're active, you're active. You're active. Ah, there it is. Of course, the MWD goes off because, um... They turn, you, they turn it off for you. Awesome. Let's go and see if there's any fights. La la la. Do do do. I need more skill in this ship. 100. Let's go have some fun. Got to learn, got to learn. Right, no gate guns allowed. Just waiting on the cap. Hey, hey, salute! Eighty-nine Phobos. Caldari Losek is dead. Yeah, well, you tell me about it. There's an easy way of doing it. I'll show you. Uh, just pop through. Doesn't matter. I can. Get me cap back up <clears throat> on the other side. Um, target, go. 
Um, right, what you do, factional warfare here, click on it, and a map comes up. On this map you'll see little red dots, depending on whose team you're on. Uh, red dots to me are Federation, and you can right click on them and set destination, like that. And then you just go there. He's in a hurricane. Really? And he's tethered. And those look like arties. No, they may not be. <coughs> Do those look like art artillery to you? What do you think he's close range? Look at the Galente points. Yeah, I know. Um, if you go to one of the Galente streams, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's screaming and saying he's he's like the king and everybody's got to serve him. And oh god, it's a mess over in Galente space. It really is. I tried to keep up today with it, but I'm not really interested in them. We have an Iteran, he can pass. Not interested. <laughs> Not interested in anything like that. Shall we go and have a look in Galente space? <laughs> Free to do so. Usually I get dumped on by... Um, Tech 2 and Tech 3 ships. Is it really worth doing without the skills for this ship? What do you think? I'm more interested in this guy here. Come on, Sunessis, are you going to come and play? No, he's not. Do you think I would get shot over here? My timers are about to go. Or do you think I'm going to get in trouble? What do you think? Will it tether me? Can I have a tether, please? How do I get a tether? He just... He just goes straight in. <laughs> Inviting you to a conversation. Uh, no thanks. I have a chat channel here. So how do you get a tether? Oh, wait a minute, it's got a little symbol on it. You do not have docking access. Ah, that's boring. Boo, hiss. Do I want docking access? No, not really. Not when it's got that symbol above it, I don't. That says pirate to me. We could shoot it. Do you think that it would shoot back if I shot it? He jumped. 
Not interested. Boring people. <clears throat> hmm. I don't think I've got enough skills to fly this thing. It's taking up way too much cap. Does have a cap battery. Yay, I'm not a criminal anymore. Is that good or bad? Anybody in here? Ooh, there's people in here. Anybody want to come out of stealth? Forwards. Nobody here. So that's about twenty kilometers. Okay, as long as I know. Quite a bit of cap though. So for some reason, <coughs> I've got rubbish skills. Oh well. Nobody following? No. Yep, you're right, it's pretty dead out here. Pretty dead. Why have these moved? <sighs> the lesson is a complete waste of time. By the way, this ship is not for low sack, it's for high sack. you're wondering. Sorry, it's for null sec. Oh god, my brain's fried. It's the heat! It's over 30 degrees C in here and I'm melting! Help! Help! Melting! The problem I've got in null sec I'll show you. It's easier to show you. Is the following. We'll just drop this off. This is where it belongs, by the way. This is where I was taking it. We just only got halfway here. And as it's a dead day, I thought I'd bring my ships out. I've got a problem. And I need a ship. 
Booking permission this size booking for it. Accepted. I have got the perfect ship for Nullsec. And yes, I now have two sunsets. Hey, we've got a double sunset. This is the perfect ship. This is what I wanted to fly. But. And it's a big but. When you go out to Nullsec, there's a problem. Let's show you the problem. Oh, look, he's there, is he? I don't have any. I wish I'd stop doing that. So the problem I've got is sites. And it's this site here. Warp drive active. That gate. That's the problem. This acceleration gate is not configured to handle your Punisher. It handles cruisers, battleships, heavy assault cruisers, combat battleships, battle cruisers, uh, command ships, logistics, force recon, heavy interdiction, black ops, marauders. Combat Recon, Strategic Cruisers, Attack Battle Cruisers, and Flag Cruiser. Fantastic. Well, thank you, game. Which means... I need a bigger ship. Good, eh? Warp Drive active. I think that's fantastic. What that means is, um, yeah, I can travel around all I want. But I can't rob banks in a Punisher. Bit unfair. And I don't know why. Drive. I don't know why. <clears throat> what is so awful about this ship? Why is this ship considered so dangerous it's not allowed inside an ESS? So, yeah. The ship I just brought in cost me absolutely nothing. I, no, it didn't. Sorry, I made an Osprey and then traded it in with the Caldar to the Caldari Navy for 90,000 LP. Um plus a Nexus chip, which I got from a level 4 distribution uh, mission. Hello there, Z-Drone17. Salute. 
So I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that frigates, Tech 1 frigates, are not allowed to rob banks. I have to use a cruiser or above. Cannot be a capital ship or a dread. So yeah, where does that leave me? Um, yeah. I guess that leaves me with um, not much else to do with me Punisher. because it'd be too easy. Well, it's just the same in a cruiser. In fact, it's easier. Wouldn't you think? Hmm. All the same rules apply. You just scan for people like that. And if it says Punisher, then you go, ha ah, ha ha, and take a cruiser in. Hmm, I don't know, my cruisers don't cost much. A carrick will only cost 11 mil, if you buy the hull. If you don't buy the hull, uh, to fit it all out costs about 5 mil, if you make your own hull. And a carrick can do it. That's... the caracal would cost me less than this ship. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. It's not fair. I think people are scared of me, Punisher. Not to worry. We will uh, work within the restrictions. I've now got two Kaldari Navy Ospreys ready. Um, I might not be flying them myself, though. I'm not sure yet. I might give them to my pirate character to fly. Um, but I don't like these people out here. They're all, they've all been nasty to me and shot at me. Triumvirate is the only ones that haven't um, shot at me. So, yeah. There's that. I guess. So these are the only guys I actually leave alone. The rest of them, I try and accidentally um, <coughs> pick up some of their money whenever I can. Because every time I go in their space, I just get dumped on by Tech 3s. And I'm getting a bit peed off with it. There we go, it's a Merlin of all things. Warp drive active. Hmm. Let's go have a look at the Merlin. Yeah, it's been one of those weird experiences, Nullsec, this time round. Um, you've got ESSs which have a strange restriction on them. You've then got these keys to banks, the main banks, not the... Sorry, the, the keys to the reserve banks, which are in hidden places that you have to scan down and you can only have three people in them so if you find one and you've got three accounts which quite a lot of people have you can just put three people in it 
and nobody else can enter until you're ready to do it. Crazy. Bloody crazy. Some very strange decisions have been made in Nullsack. And I don't know why they've done it. So yeah, it's, I've had an interesting time uh, going around Nullsec and meeting the neighbours, as it were. <coughs> some have been absolutely fine, and some of them, well, they need to put their egos in check. They're a bit trigger happy, which I don't mind either really, I suppose. But it's, it's like just tr playing against a brick wall because it's tech 3s all the time with uh, level 5 skills and that kind of thing. And it's pretty much a waste of time. So I steal the money instead. And I think that uh, aggravates me even more than anything else. Because I'm not really bothered. And of course, um, my local stalker has turned up online again today. He wants to shoot my ships again. Hey, hey, hello there, Alice Winfield. Hmm, what to do? So there's absolutely bugger all I can do now. Because, hey, ma, my stalker's back. Why do I bother? La 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 la. So, any questions, anyone? Anybody want to bring anything up? Anybody want to know anything? Funny story is I got uh, suicide gang this morning. What am I going to train? Frigates. Frigates. All frigates. And then more frigates. Until I can fly them properly. There is no point in flying... Anything bigger than a battle cruiser, I think. <clears throat> Unless you've got a free battleship lying around like I have. Uh, but not really much point. Um, frigates can do anything except for stuff in low sec, it would seem. Hmm. Connecting. Yeah, I got uh, Suicide Gank last night. It was quite funny. By the Americans. Uh, five of them in Catalyst uh, took on my Fortified Retriever. It took three of them to kill me. They all died by Concord, of course. And they podded me. What an awesome thing to do. So, in security status, ships and everything else... It costs them over 100 mil isk if they want to fix it all. And they got 50,000 score dite out of it. I know, because I went back to blow up me on wreck. Ganking got even more popular since 2015. No idea. 
No idea. Doesn't bother me. I was quite honoured. Because that means six ships died to kill one of my retrievers. There were three failed attempts. And it took them a total of five ships in the end to bring me down. Yeah. Who wins that one? Hmm? Remember, I make my own ships. Didn't cost me a thing. Well, actually, no, it did. It cost me about 40 milli mil for the battleship fittings I put on it. Uh, they were a bit ridiculous. But I did it on purpose, because I knew damn well they were going to have a go at me. They've been tracking me for, what, three months? Four months. So I knew that if they saw me on, they were going to come in. Wonder who this is. Hello, sugar. If you don't know who that is, then that's fine. Um. No, actually, it's this one, isn't it? I want. Kestrels. How many can I make? Two runs remaining. Ah, I will take that. I dropped that off this morning. I dropped that off this morning. That off today. And that off. That's my low sex stuff that I've been collecting. De -de -de -de. They're just containers. So, there you go. It's just normal containers. Um, I'll find out which type in a second. Uh, no, I can do it now for you. Uh, audit log secure containers. You build them. Using this blueprint here. Dirt cheap. Do you need some? Got seven spare. Same. It isn't a container, that's a hanger. Oh, wrong, wrong screen. Sorry, sorry, it's like it's on here. Home. Not that one. It's not one of these. But who knows which one? I don't know. I don't know where it is. It's like it's it's in one of these screens and it's stupidly hidden. Um. Could be just under assets. But you'll see it's uh, it's just the titles that I've put on it for the corporation, like this. So those all fit. These are just 
hangers, corporation hangers. I think it was getting low on mechs. Okay. This is my headquarters. Uh, this is the brains behind the operation. She's called Qzark. She does all the uh, behind the scenes work. He's in a low key. Yay! Look! Look, Mr. Loki boy. He's lost again. Bless him. Not my problem. Self drive active. What are you gonna do, Mr. Loki boy? Anything? Come on. Because there's nothing you can do, is there? So, this is introducing our local stalker. Um, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So much ships. Did, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's been researched. Good, thank you. Whoever did that, thank you very much. Input material location is minerals. Two. There you go. Two hours. Got two kestrels. Gosh. This game is that hard, folks. Ah, my stalk has gone home sulking because he doesn't want to play. Good. Drive active. It's about time he woke up and smelt the coffee. Oh, thank you, phone. Blah da da di 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 Alright, okay. I'm invited to join the AMD and oh no, I'm not going to that. I can't be bothered with that. Sorry. I like I like AMD, but not enough to meet people. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. I don't like people at the best of times. Not in real life, anyway. <clears throat> the horrible things. They just make things awkward. How do I play this one, then? That's the one I want. Do you like it? Colours change. <laughs> I love that idea. I think it's quite fun. Ah, ba -doo -ba -doo. Drive, active. 
Oh, this is another one of those trucks with, um... Yeah. Warp. Thank you. <laughs> it take... It's, it's not as bad as one of the ships I've got. Um... The Charon. That takes until Christmas to turn around. I think it's about one degree per minute. And I'm serious. It really is that slow. I, I think it's a fun ship. But I don't fly it. <clears throat> I don't need to. The Terras are doing good enough. And I'm not taking a Charon into low sack. Basically being asked to be hot dropped, aren't you? Yes, Sino's working low sack. Bubbles don't, Sinos do. I have actually thought about selling it, but I don't need the isk. So, hmm. Does anybody want it? Not exactly a frigate, I can tell you. Mind you, neither is this thing. <laughs> so, we are making two kestrels. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. this stuff in here. Oh, I must have picked that up off uh, the dead mining ship. Okay. That's fine then. <coughs> this morning, and I've forgotten all about it. It obviously mattered to me. <laughs> Completely forgotten that I've picked up all the... I went and went back and collected all my stuff and then blew up the remains because I couldn't carry the ore that they couldn't carry so of course you just blow it up don't you you don't leave that kind of stuff lying around people might get rich uh, one of our uh, lo local um <coughs> Ladies of leisure. Warp drive active. Another epic failure. I think she started to avoid me actually. De 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 de. Again, letter A. Always at the top. Big massive red mark. Not hard to find. Stupid. Warp drive active. I don't know. At least this person had N at the beginning of the name. So they could disappear below and hide amongst all this lot down here. So, this is the prototype, Kestrel, uh, which all the other Kestrels have been made from. And this Kestrel was designed to be able to be flown by a new pilot within a couple of hours. 
And that's all it is. Four light missiles. Does 38 kill me as well. That's cool. Um, EM2. Is the defense field really worth it? Yes, it is. And thermal. Is thermal really worth it? Let's have a look. If you get hit by an Armar ship, that's about right, isn't it? But when you put that thermal on, yeah, you got 60, 60, 60. And a 55. No skills, by the way, in using this. So, these are base figures. Not, uh, not what you actually get. Actually, I think that should be all right. We've only got 6.8 CPU left. That can be turned into a T2. We've got 6 CPU left. That's the only difference, isn't it? So we take that out. Oh god, it hides the goddamn window, of course. And you put that... In. Where are you, T2? Come here. Put that in. It fits at 2.8. <clears throat> oh, right, well, I get evens. I mean, I'm now at 56. I just get 1% more on this character, but you would get quite a bit more on a character that was skilled in uh, shield hardening, for instance. Don't think I've got shield hardening on this character, have I? I haven't. So 5% bonus to EM resistance is per level for shield amplifiers. So you just swap that out for an EM amplifier. But I don't, can't remember if there is a skill for that. Compensation, no. Ten percent increase per level of effect. During the cycle time of pulse activated nexus invulnerability core. What the hell's one of them? Don't know. But you can get compensation skills. Uh, you've got thermal, EM, uh, kinetic and explosive. So using those skills you can actually even out your numbers. Um, But on this character, I can't use a Tech 2. I have to use that. Or a Compact. Because of the cost of uh, clicking a button. Oh well. Um, right. This stuff that I've got in here, let's get rid of that first. Nanite paste? Don't want that. That's ammo. That's modules. And that's a strip miner. Lovely. Done. Do I need this many? Yes, I do. This is not a PvP ship. Mind you, it's exactly the same setup for a PvP ship, so it doesn't matter which way around you look at it. Okay. Blast. 
ballistic controls. Two. <coughs> Small Asia pop there, like that says. Shield extenders. Mm, okay. Do I have anything like that? Not in here. I think I'm going to have to buy those. Extender. Okay. Oh, we are going for cat recharges. <coughs> okay. Why am I using a cat recharge and not a cat battery? Anybody any ideas? What's the difference? I can't use one. I can. Why does it just why does it seem to do nothing? That's why. Okay. Huh? Why did it do that? So I need some of those, right. Where's it gone? Come back. One point three mil, no. Two, don't I? And um, we don't have any stocks, so I'll take four. Okay. <clears throat> and this is the multi spectrum thingy, which keeps messing me up. Uh, so multis and uh, compacts probably better. Is it better? Fifty five. It's the same, but it depletes. Why does a compact one deplete and the other one doesn't? What is so f weird about this one that I've got in? Okay. They've got six here. Um, four. Um, right, that's that done. What are the, what's so good about this? Micro warp drive, let's have a look at micro warp drives. We are using five MNs, so I've got you, you, and you, you. This is a quad lift. Now I know the quad lift is different. That'll get me 2313.1. B. 
base. Mm, where did it go? Base. Two, three, right, doesn't give us much. Okay, get out of it then. I thought the cold gas was probably the best. That's two, three, one, three, two, three, one, three. Ah, and now I see what's happening here. <laughs> the quad lift is the best. I'm looking at the gigajoules up at the top. Yep. Definitely that one. Two, please. Missile launchers, which are using arbalest lights. They compact. Yeah. And we need eight. Jeez. No, thank you. Those prices are ridiculous. Well, what about shield reinforcers? Hmm, yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. And that's a cameo. Um, yeah, okay. I know what to do. Small cord. Why can't I have a Type 2 in? choose not to. Ah. What do you get bonus for it? Bugger up. Right, I get you. Oh, you get a few hit points. Hmm. Is it really worth putting that much money on a Kestrel? No. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Uh, two. Don't. Good. Bye. Okay, and the last one. Cameo. Two. Yeah, and. Da, 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 da. Right, I think that's roughly about everything, isn't it? And all we have to do is go to G to get the weapon systems. Nah, that's not bad. Drive active. 
that's not bad at all, really, when you think about it. Just need eight weapon systems. I'll get ten. So there's four in stock, isn't there? Which makes more sense. So this is what I spend quite a lot of my time doing, is designing ships rather than flying them sometimes. Um, I try to design them on this character, which makes sure that my other two characters get the best performance out of them. And that's the basics of it really. You two done. And so all the extras just go to the corporation. Um, basically, what I try and do is stock up as much as possible when I'm doing a round of ship building. So as I get modules in, I'll try and get more than I need in. It's not always possible because some of the modules are stupidly expensive, like 29 mil each. So obviously I don't get 10 of those in. It would be a little tad daft. Oh, it affects them, but the raw quill got you. Low fitting requirement, gotcha. Thank you for that information. I didn't catch it when you came up on here. Uh, next one is Cameo. <laughs> Let's go Yeti. So if you ever wonder what goes behind the scene goes on behind the scenes in a corporation, this is exactly what goes on. So if you're out there flying ships defending space for a corporation, <clears throat> this is what is happening in the background to make sure you can fly those ships. <laughs> Basically it just keeps the costs down. I'd make the Tech-2 tech stuff myself, but I am still doing the research projects. Drive active. That's why I'm still buying Arbalest. I don't need to, I can buy Tech-2, but... I really don't think I need it. The Arbalest is doing so much damage, it's ridiculous. I don't think Tech-2 would really help, it'll shorten the distance a bit. But that's about all. I'd lose about 5 to 10 kilometers on my range. Which really wouldn't bother me. Uh, range is about 55 kilometers. 
I'm your main character. Pretty surprising stuff. It takes the missile so long to get there that the per person who's flashing the little skull and crossbones on him at you, his timer goes off before the missile's hit, and you get done by all of the guns. <laughs> Quite funny. That's why I was laughing about it. Because it was funny. I when I realised what had happened. I'm going to look at that later. I'll have a look at the video on that. Should have clipped it, shouldn't I? This is how to be an absolute noob. Please, do not do this yourself. I do it so that you don't have to. A good demonstration on how not to do PvP. So this character is absolutely perfectly safe in this ship. Which is amazing, considering the lack of money that goes into it. Oh god, how much an arbalist way. Drones? No, our bell. Hmm? Why is that moved? What the hell? Everything's moved here. What the hell's going on? No, no. Wish me UI would stop moving around on me. Five meters cubed, and uh, I need ten, that's fifty. And I've got seventy six. All right, let's go. Bloom well halfway there, we may as well go. All right, that's better. How weird. Okay, this is silly now. What the hell? Being weird. Thank you. Drive I don't want small buttons. There's plenty of space for the buttons. <clears throat> and thank you, Poppy, for reminding me. I know I'm overdue because uh, I want to pick up all of this stuff for the new ships. We're making new ships, Poppy. The cat's looking at me as if I'm daft. Maybe the cat's right. And if you don't get it right, you lose one of these fingers. And it goes down to one, two, three, four, five instead of six. You've got to be careful about that because in some systems you're just not going to warp across on five fingers. You need six fingers to warp across some 
systems. Doesn't sound right, does it? With cap. How can you call your character Zomb Stealth if you can be seen? What a dumbass. Okay, we're alright in this area. We'll ignore the tricks, of course. I'm having such a good day that I'm going into overtime because I want to get this completed today. So on Friday, we'll be ready with some Kestrels. What I'll do Friday morning is probably move them up to the front line. I might be able to fit two in a Terra. Should be able to fit two Kestrels plus fittings into a Terra. Surely. We'll see. Drive it's got 33,000 cubic meters on this character because this is my industrialist. So it should be big enough. I mean, the damn thing can hold uh, one of these station thingies. Docking permission requested. Let's see how much money we just saved by accidentally just warping here. Who me? Yes, I have a private schedule um, of what I want to do in streams. I usually organise my streams by the week, on a weekly basis. So tomorrow is Garista Day. It's my Garista character, my tertiary character. Um, he will be doing level 3 missions for the Garista faction uh, to see if he can get any faction points with them. <clears throat> and on Friday, I want to try and see if I can blow up some more of these Kestrels for fun. So I'm just going to make them now. Well, get the bits for them now anyway. And here, they only cost this much. Yeah, I think I'll take 10, thank you. Tom, very kind of you. So each of my um, days is actually pre-planned, even though I might make it look spontaneous, it isn't. I go on adventures. I love having adventures. Uh, go with all items. Try that one. So a lot of my adventures actually take me to places which I want to see. either scout out. <coughs> Look at which factions are in control of, like, null-sec areas. Uh, look at uh, ESS banks to see if in a future um, stream I can do a bank robbery. See if people are active in that area. That kind of thing. The kind of response I get, like Tech 3 ships jumping all over me. And saying, oh, learn to play. That kind of thing happens quite a bit. But, um, obviously, idiots I ignore. Even though he was the CEO of the company that owned the place. I don't care, he's an idiot. So, uh, yeah. It's like doing the mining in low sec. It's not to do the mining. It's to watch who's coming through the gate. And finding out who's coming through which gate. 
Um, and I just have a catalogue in me head of names and areas and places. Who to expect, what to expect, what they're going to bring to a fight, that kind of thing. And uh, unfortunately I've got a photographic memory, so yeah, I cheat. So by storing all the information from my adventures, I know exactly where I want to go, the kind of people I'm going to meet, and the kind of resistance they're going to put up if I annoy them. Or if I don't annoy them, some of them are just so trigger happy it's stupid. One group chased me around four systems, around in a triangle. I was just going to go around the loop again when I thought, ah, oh, stuff this. I just had enough. It was pathetic. Why? Can't they type in comms like, hello? It's not hard to do. And it would have made a nice change. From the trigger happy monkeys I keep meeting out there. Oh, I've got Tech 3 ship, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, go ahead, make my day. I don't care. I literally do not care about people that don't care about me. And it's the same for Isk. Isk doesn't care about me, so I don't care about it. And in re real life, I don't care about money either. That's the kind of person I am. I only care about things that care about me. Like Poppy here, who looks after me and meows at me when I need me dinner. Like now. I care about the people who chat to me in my channel because you take the time out to chat to me. And I appreciate that. And if you're in game and you've got a little red mark by your side of you, I just ignore you. As uh, some people who try to talk to me have found out. They get absolutely no time of day whatsoever. Basically, that little red mark there on, on these guys here means talk to my hand because the face ain't listening. Ironically, their endeavours pay my corporation ISK because they then have to rebuy all the stuff they're losing. Um, no, I'm just Kaldari. It's just a natural place to be. Um, I'm very happy in the Sansha areas as well. Um, I used to have a Sansha character. Earning the Nightmare Blueprint with loyalty points. This time I've got a Garista character earning um, Rattlesnake Blueprints with loyalty points. So it's just a different choice this time round. I thought instead of doing the south, I'll do the north. Because I think originally I was Armar. My main character was Armar. Armarian. But my mate made a Kaldari character and I said, no, I'm not bothered where I live, I'll come and join up and we'll do stuff up in Kaldari. And uh, I just now know Kaldari space a lot better than I do Armar space. I know quite a lot about Armar space and that's where I do a lot of me trading. So if I make, say, 20 caracals, put them in a Charon, take them down to Armar, I can sell them at 50, what, 150% to 200% their price.
not bad, huh? When you think about it. Yes, I leave ships for people as well to use. Because I don't need them. Anything I don't need, I just dump into the smuggler's den, which is our pub, our nightclub. Everybody gets together there. We've got the exotic dancers. And there's a homeless guy who works behind the bar. He's quite happy there. I've got double the amount of those. That's right, isn't it? Uh, ammo. What ammo shall we give them? Light missiles, I guess. <laughs> Nothing there. No, 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 no. Garistanovas? Nah. Scourge. Why have we got no Scourge lights in anymore? Don't know. Let's get that sorted out. Didn't know we'd run out of those. Where have they gone? Oh! Of course. Infernos. I don't think we can carry that much in this ship. No, we can't. Uh, this is a mining character, not a navy character. Dum da dum dum dum. Do I have one on here? No. There you go. Mining. This character does all the supplies um, for th missiles and ammunition. Uh, she does level 4 mining missions, obviously, to get the loyalty points. It's pretty obvious. So I only need 800 of each, but you have to do them in 5,000s, so we'll have a few left over. So I'll need 1,600 of each. Poxu, mineral group, yay, mineral reserve, mining company. Everything is around the HQ, which is why I chose it. Docking request accepted. Level 1 to 4 missions for everything. Distribution, mining and security. Distribution gives me all the Nexus chips and stuff like that that I need to get the special ships from um, these guys. <clears throat> Type in 
right. Mm, accept. Type in that. Accept. There you go. Done. Twenty percent extra damage. Just like that. It's pretty simple to get. As long as you've got everything in one area, then you're fine. And that's why I decided to have a Kaldari character this time and to base my HQ in Iceneros because I knew everything was here. One of the things that people don't know is this. I'll show you. All right, if you come to your skills, let's have a look at, say, science. All right, <clears throat> buy this skill at 19,500. 19,500. Right click on it, view market details. Look for <coughs> La, which is two jumps away, and get it at 15, 000, 15 mil instead of 19 mil. Save yourself four and a half mil by going to La. People don't know about that. They, ex they, they just get the books off here. No, you right click and you view market details. You have a local library, <coughs> which is two jumps away. And get it from there. At huge discounted prices from an NPC. Not a player, an NPC. It's things like that that save you so much isk when you've got everything within two jumps. Level one to four missions, all of them. Uh, a local library. And I'm generating the local economy by selling stuff here. Not on this character, obviously. But it is as simple as that. Solemn. Those, 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 those. All those, all those. All of this stuff. All of this good stuff. Um, we want two times eight hundred. So sixteen. Which ones are these? Kaldari Navy. Yeah, we'll just take sixteen hundred. It doesn't matter. I've got spares. Uh, corporation hangar. Now has. Missiles. A spare. All I need now is the holes. That's it. But that's how you make ships. Each one of those ships will be 2,500 meters cubed when uh, wrapped up before you construct them. So that's 5,000. And we have about 33,000 left. So I can move them all up to the front line, assemble them and have them ready to go. Yeah, that says 17 million. Docking permission requested. And that's how it's done. That's how I get all of my ships. And why I don't care if they get blown up. Docking request accepted. Well, did that take what? Well, we'll soon find out how long it took. And I'm one hour and seven minutes early from the two hour mark. So that whole thing took 53 minutes and we now have fittings and hulls 
incoming. And that means on Friday morning, I can just drop these out of here, pop them in here, and off we go. No hassle. It is, isn't it? It is as easy as that, and I can just leave it there till uh, I need it. Don't need to sit in it. Done. So that's how I do it industry. I mean, if there's any ideas in there that you want to use yourself, please feel free to do so. The first thing you've got to have, though, is Docking a decent HQ. Where is my ship? Weird. It's doing weird things. Leave it alone. And I need to be in Thunder because tomorrow I will have an agent mission. Actually, I can do this tomorrow morning, can't I? I can pick it all up. Hmm. We'll see. We will see. So, yeah. Industry. Quite easy. Um, we are also going to be doing some experiments soon. We have... Um... The mobile depot experiments to do. We also have the heron experiments to do. There's the coercer to try. It's a destroyer, isn't it? It's for a trial in low sec. I'm going to be trialing that. I want to see how good it is as a drone boat and a PvP combat. That's coming up. In on my other character, we have Wingman to do, which is a Hecate that is now fully made, uh, needs trials to see how good it is. We've completed the go kart, don't like it, needs to be redone. Fireball works fine. The confusing wormholer, the vexer. Well, there you go. Uh, we do now have um, logistics and fleet. So these two belong in the same fleet. We do have um, a protection ship, which is ECM. I'll be using that pros. Possibly in fleet after we've tested this theory out. We're just going to be using normal Ospreys, not uh, Navy Ospreys initially. But once we are comfortable in fleets, then that's a logistics ship. This gets replaced by Caldari Navy Ospreys. Exactly the same fitting, really. Basically, you keep the same fitting for it. So it's just a practice ship for fleets. Uh, so yeah, we've got it all. What is that doing in here? Don't know. So I've got the ships now ready for all the experiments and everything. It's just whether I get time to do them all. I want to try the wingman one out, but I can't fly the ship very well. I think I'm only on three skill 3 and it's got a horrible set of skills for the Hecate it's a tactical destroyer um, and it's the Galente tactical destroyer so yeah it's not actually very hard to learn even for this character 24 days and then some more And it's small hybrid... Ah, that was the problem. It's small hybrid turrets. Those are the skills I haven't got properly. Well, I do have them, but not to any useful degree. Otherwise, it's got some nice things on it. Sensor dampeners, weapon disruptors. 
but that's in so in resistance is against sensor dampeners and weapon disruptors in sharpshooter mode it's, it's rather good I've checked out these modes I like the way they work um, and I would like to fly this ship but yeah I think it needs skilling up it's just one of those things isn't it things need skills it's just how much what it's just how much time you uh, you get to do things really and on that note uh, we're going to wrap up um, I'm going to go and have my team feed the cat so thank you for joining us today everybody who's popped in I would like you all to take care And, of course, have fun. <laughs>